We're back talking about the war again, last, last bit. And uh, like I say, there's this kind of assumption, I think, from us here in Europe where we look at, particularly in Britain, where we look at America's hysterical reaction to the 9th of November and we think, well, you know, that wouldn't happen here. We wouldn't do that because we're reasonable, sensible people in Britain. But we don't have to look very far back in our own cultural history to see an example of us losing the plot as a nation. And I'm talking, of course, about the death of Princess Diana, the late Princess of Wales. It was in the news again last summer because of the Princess Diana Memorial Fountain, which you'll remember was a rubbish fountain. <laughs> and fulfilled very few of the job description criteria <laughs> of fountains. <laughs> but it's ongoing. It's ongoing. It never goes away. I remember when she died. Um, it was about two days before the state funeral. I went down to Kensington Palace, where Princess Diana had lived, to, to look at all the tributes left outside, you know. And in amongst all the bunches of flowers and sympathy cards and poems little kids had written and drawings and paintings people had done, whatever, in amongst all that, I honestly saw, and this is true, I saw a life-size inflatable model of E.T. <laughs> was honestly there outside Kensington Palace two days before the state funeral and I stood there looking at the inflatable E.T. for some 40 or 50 minutes and I thought to myself how did that get there? <laughs> Who would have thought that that was an appropriate gesture? <laughs> And I imagined a household somewhere on that awful autumn Sunday morning where perhaps a wife had woken up first and she'd watched the news and she went through to her still sleeping husband and she said, please, please wake up. I need you to wake up and be with me now. There's been a t some terrible news. I need you to get up, come in the front room and watch it on the television with me because I can't be alone so please wake up but you know he's, he's asleep he's asleep he's going what it's fucking it's half past six on a Sunday morning I am asleep I know I'm speaking but I am asleep I don't want to get up. I'm asleep, so just, I know you're upset, but just say what it is. What is it? And she'd have gone, please, if you, if you love me just this one time, just get up. And because it's an awful thing and I need, I can't be alone. I need someone to comfort me and share. Just please get up. <laughs> I need to go and look. I was out late last night. <laughs> I've got I've got to work at seven tomorrow. I don't this is my <laughs> this is my one day for sleeping in. I don't want to get up till about half past eleven, to be honest. And <laughs> even then, I'm not going to get dressed. I'm just going to be, like, in my pants and stuff. Just so <laughs> I kind of... Th if, I don't know what you... If you were to just say what it is, you know, you know, then what is it? She'd have gone, Princess Diana, Lady Di, has, she has been killed. <laughs> and he'd have gone, No! <laughs> Not the Queen of Hearts! <laughs> the Rose of England! <laughs> 
and Scotland and Wales and bits of Ireland. No! How did it? There's no God! How did it? Why? How did it happen? And she'd have gone. I was in a car crash in Paris last night. They don't know the exact details yet. But she's dead. So presumably at that point he'd have, he'd have got up, got out of bed, tried to get dressed, you know, and get some kind of grip on his emotions and his feelings, <laughs> calm down his grief. <laughs> and then he'd have said, I'd better go out and get a life-size and flavour model of him too. <laughs> you know, for the gates of our home. his wife would have said yes. <laughs> but you'd better hurry because there'll be a rush on those. <laughs> we don't want to be the only people not putting one there. <laughs> and I was talking about this on stage in Croydon at the time it happened and a bloke shouted out, I was there! <laughs> and I saw that! And it wasn't a life-size inflatable model of E.T. It was a life-size inflatable model of ALF. <laughs> I didn't even know what an ALF was, I had to ask him. I said, oh, it's an American kids' TV thing. It's an alien, ALF, alien life form. It's like a cross between a pig and an aardvark <laughs> from space. And it sometimes wears a nappy and it says kind of wise ass things. And he said he'd seen one of those there. I didn't see an elf outside Kensington Palace before. The, and I'm not saying there wasn't one there. Maybe there was at some stage. But by the time I arrived, it had got covered up under flowers or carried away on a river of infants' tears. I don't know, I didn't see it. It never goes away. It's back in the news now. The Princess Diana Memorial Fountain. Last year, people went, oh, it's great. It's, it's what she would have wanted. It's a place where families can hang out, children can play. It's what Princess Diana would have wanted. It isn't. What Princess Diana would have wanted would be to have not been killed. <laughs> and then in death, not to have become the unwitting receptacle but the hysterical, over-emotional, shrieking grief of twats. That's what she would have wanted. <laughs>